Bonjour everyone, new bike, welcome back to the vlog. Are you excited? Because I am. New freshie. Well, near enough freshie. Near enough. Just put my suspension on it and stuff. But we've got an exciting bike build video. Probably more than one as well. What so, bike is it? It's a Husqvarna C300, Dan. Thanks for asking. Yeah. 2021. She's a beauty. Supplied by Graham Jarvis himself. Just uh, ready to get a built. But... One of the good things about being on the team it comes with a very nice modification because as you can see, there's no ECU on the bike. No ECU. So, I'll introduce you to some nice kit. Look at this, Daniel. What's that, Stephen? It's from Two Stroke Performance. The ultimate performance kit for your two stroke bike. All you simply do is send your ECU away and it come, comes back better another day. You know what I mean, Dan? <laughs> no, so this mean. is part of the kit. What do you get? Come on, what do you get? You get your ECU, factory tuned by TSP, Two Stroke Performance. This is like the closest you'll get to a factory bike. Idle screw mod, which I'm going to show you guys fitting. This is a lot of questions about. Iridium spark plug. And this is a low compression head. They've also been really nice to me and sent me a medium comp head to test them both, see which one I prefer. So we're gonna get that fitted today. That's the first part of the bike build. May as well plug the ECU in now while she's while she's alive. Throw that there, throw that there. So we get the ECU, push it in like this. Why is it wet? Because of our beautiful English weather, Daniel. And you pop it in like that. If you want to take yours out, simply push that prong in there, push it back pops out and then send it into Betty's bikes and now send it to two stroke performance for you so that's that i've obviously not put any of the wiring loom in it's it is a new bike um it's got my old wheels in it tires absolutely prime in it dan prime look at that so yeah i'm gonna now take the throttle body off because we're gonna do the throttle body mod first get that over and done with and then we'll move on to the cylinder head so Stay tuned for some groovy tips and tricks and we'll uh, get started. We've just took the throttle body off because now we're going to do the idle screw mod. There's a little screw that's in here. It is locked tight in, so you have to heat it up to actually get it out. Get a little four mil allen key going through there. I think it's four mil. Four or three. Can't remember now off the top of my head. So we'll get some heat on it. Um, and yeah, get that idle adjustment. Put the girl in here get me eat she's, tight. she's tight the workshop is crazy busy at the minute um so please excuse the mess right so we're gonna eat it up and i'll come back to it once we're up taking the screw out Ready? so as you eat you know you just tend to get a feel it's gonna start coming loose or not this one's starting to come loose already. Be able to take that heat off now. I was being really careful, obviously, that is plastic um, and you don't want to melt it. You can put something like a bit of tin foil or anything like tin foil does work down your mouth, does it? but heat deflector. And just like that, that one is out. That is the badger. The badger. You can measure where it's set up, but obviously with the TSP, my bike's going to be needing setting up either way, so I don't really have to measure it because I'll do it off foot. So, the beloved idle screw going in. Hello, people. This here is a mystery box, and what is inside is a mystery. You'll be able to go and buy a ticket for this because we're raffling it off. It's only £4.95, absolute bargain it's going to be on www.bedsysbikes.co.uk go over there we're going to put a link in the description on the next story be able to buy a ticket win some cool shit go and send it peace i'll just put it in just so it's touching where it left off there you go I 
I'll let, it, I'll let it cool down a minute. <laughs> in the meantime, in the meantime, you have got to mod this part of the plastic out so it actually fits over. If you see, if you try to put that back on, it will not go over, mate. Will not go over? Will not go over, mate. Right, so as you can see, we've made a nice little curve around. I just did that with a set of pliers. So just slot on now. I'm gonna get it right. Just like that. Could you ask for a better fit? I think not. Right, people, now we fitted the throttle body back on. Idle screws all set up, throttle set is set up. Now we're gonna fit the TSP cylinder head with the low compression. Looking very nice. Slot that back in there. Always ensure the O-ring is on there. Otherwise you're gonna have a leaky um, spark plug. So what we've got to do, drain the coolant out of here. Dan will show example A in just a second. Um, top coolant hose off unplug temperature sensor undo temperature sensor spark plug jobs are good one. jobs are good one. bang on new gaskets let's go quick interruption into the video we have forgot to put this on got this made Tristan Young hooked me up absolute beast of a casing so I'm gonna put this on first before we start anything else because I want it on my bike. Ready? Right, people, we've put a beautiful casing on now. Absolutely lovely. Again, not the best lighting. So now we're just gonna drain the coolant. Wait for the squirter. Oh, oh, oh. I ain't got the grip strength. That's what all women like to do when they see me. Right, people, so now we're moving on to the cylinder head. We're just going to take the temperature sensor off now. When my spanner goes on it. There we go. Just get it on there, little tap. Unplug. And she'll just come off. There's no ring on here. Make sure it comes out with it. Make sure it's clean, all that good jazz. Um, Daniel, would you pass me that spark plug spanner there, please? This spark plug spanner. Oh, what are you? Oh, she's nice Everything's and nice and fresh still, which I like. Nothing better than working on a freshie. Do you know what I mean, Dan? I know what you mean. Um, yeah, and then we'll remove all these six bolts and then fit the new gaskets, fit the new head on and be very happy boy. Burning quite rich anyway. Ooh. It's not a bad thing on a TPI, really, burning rich. At least it's not lean like most of them are. As you can see now, we've got the TSP kit fitted. Looking very nice. Beauty. Everything's all tarped up. You tarp them up to 27 Newton meters. Um, iridium spark plugs in. Now we're ready to put some fresh coolant back in. So we're ready to fire up soon once we sort some exhaust mm -hmm. issues out. Well, you've got big exhaust issues. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. What are they? They're just all dented. Oh, no. Nice throttle. So we'll get the coolant back in. And then we'll well, whilst we're here, why don't we show people how to prime you? oil pumps if they ever need to do it just a quick video you can do daniel just a quick one if you ever need to do it it's a good idea dan we do normally do it i was going to do this later on but daniel wants to show it you all so i have actually got a bubble in mind anyway because obviously i've done the throttle body mod you do need to prime it after that i should have mentioned it earlier um so you just get these two like this might want to put back in by, can't we, Dan? Might as well. Gun's covering it up so we can't see. <laughs> don't work if you don't have a battery in it. Also, no, it's starting again. Also, another up good upgrade that you can use Super B battery. 
These boys don't run out anytime soon. Let's get it in there. When she wants to go in. Oh, you Chinese put things behind. I think you should tell them before you and not for customers before you that's why they're in the workshop. Oh they're not, they're for my bike. <laughs> don't no. worry about that. Yeah. That's why they're in the uh the workshop and the not the shop. shop. We don't get free headlights and they're very expensive, so every time I smash one, put Which one is on. every ride. It's not because I've had perspex in for a while. Oh yeah, you have. If, you, if any of you have noticed it at races. Sick of paying for them. No. Right, now we've got a new battery in. Got our bit of wire. Get it. It's two little prongs. You see here. I've held the throttle down. Dan's held the throttle down. You hear a little audible click. Count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Let go, and you can hear it tapping away. There she is. Taking all the bubbles away. Bleeding her through and making me an happy jaffy. What we're gonna do next now, Dan? We're gonna we're, already, we're gonna let it stop on its own and then do it again. We're blowing front pipe out, aren't we? Oh yeah. How well, did that it, go? It was a disaster. <laughs> got, why? Why was it a disaster? Because it's got a pinhole in it, so it won't pressurize up. But I ain't got a welder. Pressurize here, so up. Press pressurize. So yeah. So I ain't got a welder to tap the little hole. So it's just gone on. That's what it is. They have got a fresh exhaust, but... They have got a fresh FMF back there, front and rear. But they're not going on because I'll just destroy them. You'll see the finished product, though, with them on. But, yeah, other than that, it's happening. And just like that, she's done. Ta-da! We need to sort this loom out. Get her all boxed in. Make it look tidy. You know. Right, people, we're back. T-shirt change. Obviously a new day, because we were so rammed out in the shop yesterday. So, today, I'm going to put my levers on. Factory lever tape. Y'all might have seen it, y'all might want it, but you just don't know where to get it. Betty's Bikes is the place. So, I'm just going to cut a nice strip off there. Well, I was never good at arts and crafts. Got a strip. Should be right. This isn't actually a genuine lever either. It's an aftermarket lever that are pretty much the exact same as genuine. So, yeah, if you do want to save a bit of money on a lever as well, you know where to come. Get nice and stretched out like that. Get rid of that. Right, people, that is the lever done. Voila, perfectly smooth on the actual finger piece. If you've not used this tape before, then you really want to try it out because you don't realise how slippy an actual lever is until you've used this tape. And you're like, once you've rubbed it away, you're like, oh, I need the tape back. So we'll get that one installed. That's the clutch. I think I need to buy a front brake lever off the shop, Dan. Yeah, I'll get you one. All right, cheers. 30 quid. <laughs> right, same again. Cut a bit of tape off. Voila. Again, never good at arts and crafts. Peel it off. Wrap it round and install to your bike. Win winner. Filming already, Dan. Yeah. Right, so levers are on. They're not actually bolted in. This one is. I need to put some covers over. Trying out some different hand guards on this bike. So, won't be the genuine Husqvarna ones. I need to put a little hour meter down here. Um, other than that, I think that's it for the for this part of the vlog. Um. Because we're going to take the suspension off tonight. Send that to RSS. That's getting done. Freshened up. And then when you're back, we're going to do a few little mods. Like tidying everything up. Um, what are these things? We'll save that for next time. Alright. Alright. All right. So yeah, we'll go through all the mods. The graph plastics and graphics will be put on. Um, and then we'll do a full bike check of what's on my bike, 
what the, what the best thing are to do on an enduro bike and yeah so look forward to the next one hope you've all liked it make sure you go check out our website www. Well, you're not doing that filler we'll do that on the next one now all right go on sorry make sure you check out the website www.bettysbikes.co.uk go and check it out order some it show your support and uh yeah see in a bit hello people this here is a mystery box and what is inside is a mystery You'll be able to go and buy a ticket for this because we're raffling it off. It's only £4.95, absolute bargain. It's going to be on www.bedsysbikes.co.uk. Go over there, we're going to put a link in the description on the next story. Be able to buy a ticket, win some cool shit, go and send it. Peace!